channel happy saturday happy easter weekend hi puppy um <clears throat> today's a day off glorious glorious i know some people might look at me and be like what's so great about a day off but like when you haven't had days off in like years <laughs> it's um it's really nice so i dropped john off at the train this morning he's got a tour and then he's coming home um and we're just hanging out at home today oh do you want to say hello to the people we have puppy down here come here Oh, my big boy. He hears me talking, so he figured he'd say hello. My big baby. <laughs> He's such a baby. Um, so we're just hanging out at home today. Probably going to do some laundry. Um, I got a fun package from the Daily Gray that I'm going to share with you all. And then we also bought a new printer. So hilariously enough, I have this X Epson printer, which has been a piece of crap. But it got me through four years of grad school and then I go to print out something <clears throat> and uh, it doesn't work anymore. We bought new ink, sir. We bought new ink and that didn't fix it so John found a, a good deal on Best Buy so we got a new printer so I'm gonna try to set that up and um, <clears throat> I think I said this, do some laundry. We're gonna take the baby to the PARK. Um, um, maybe do some grocery shopping um, and uh, I think this will be a two-day vlog because we're gonna go to my dad's for Easter. <laughs> I've been really loving um, <laughs> Cosmo, the Nespresso maple flavor. I think it's limited edition. Let me know if you guys have tried that, but it's really good. I just bought one sleeve of it and I went through it like crazy. So um, I think I might some, order some more of that because I really liked it. Um, but that's all we're gonna get up to today. I made a hazelnut coffee this morning. So um, cheers, we're back to vlogging. Simple day, nothing too crazy going on. I think uh, I think let let me finish my coffee and then we can chat after. Cheers. Okay, I'm more alive. I had my coffee. <laughs> Anybody else can't function before their coffee. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm gonna set this up. Um, so the Daily Grind, which is the planner system that I use, I've made so many videos. You can go watch them. Let me get my planner. So currently, I have converted back to the Lux cover for. Well, we're, I guess we're going into April. Hi, puppy. Um, but they're so fierce. They just launched um, a reading tracker, which is really fun because I create my own reading. My hair looks wild, everybody. My hair looks wild. I create my own reading bookshelf um, to track my reading for the year. Um, I do really like to draw my stuff like that may, it's like therapeutic for me but some people don't want to do that so they launched a reading tracker in which it has the bookshelf for you which is really cool and it also has like a reading challenge and some other things so you can buy this i'll leave the link to the daily grind website down below you can make your own little journal just for reading or you can put this into your like daily grind planner um you know for the four months um so i believe that this is four months worth Yes, it's four months worth. Okay, let's see. Yes. So, oh, here's a page if you wanted to draw your own books um, on the bookshelf, and then they've done it for you. Oh, that's cute. They have the little daily grind candle. So, and then you write the titles in, and you can color code them and stuff. Um, at the top here, it says keys and colors. So you can like rank them or say, you know, these are fiction, these are nonfiction. Oh, there's a whole bunch too. So if you're a, if you are a reader, reader, 
you can um, fill this whole thing out front to back. Um, I can't imagine that I'd read that many books in one month. That would be good for the year. Um, then they also have a sideways one. So that one's really cute. It's like has a little window and you can, you know, log it like that. A couple different options, which is really fun. It's got one on the back as well. <clears throat> okay, here's a random reading. Oh, a prompt bingo. That's a really good idea. Read a book that <clears throat> has a city on the cover, feels nostalgic, somebody else picked, is out of your comfort zone, is set during a holiday. Oh, that's really fun. And then you can play bingo with yourself. Um, so this is a really good challenge if you like are in a reading rut and you don't know what to read. This is really fun. I love that. Oh, and there's one on the back too. They are just so classy. Then on this page, which I really loved, and I saw, I'm gonna steal Andy's idea. So this is the, a log of all the books that you've read. And I normally just keep a little bookmark for myself. And then I also put it on the bookshelf that I've created. But Angie was printing out the covers and put the, putting the covers on this. So because I have a brand new printer, I think I'm gonna do this today. Um, Cause I've already read, I've already read 16 books this year. So I track for the year. I don't track per month cause it's hard for me to like set a goal of like how many books to read in a month. Um, I, I just read for pleasure. So I'm gonna, I'm tracking my whole year. Um, but this is really fun and I would love to print out the covers and like have it be really, um, have it be really like cute and colorful. If you guys are interested in this, you can click the link dailygrindplanner.com and then my code is emilyjean10. Um, if you want to use my discount code for that um, and I'm going to put that in my Lux planner and I'm going to print it all out. That'll be a fun little like project for me today. Um, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this printer up and start printing things out and see how that goes. So and then maybe throw my laundry in. Happy Saturday. <laughs> feel like every time they buy a new printer and it's like wi-fi that it just never works like it's just not finding any wi-fi like why i hate printers i hate them like can't i just have a friggin usb no networks so i guess we're sending this printer back okay so the wall in our office is next to a elevator, which is like a brick wall. So I think that that was the reason I couldn't connect it to Wi-Fi. So I brought it into the kitchen, I tried it like 10 times and it worked. But the problem is, is that now I have to unplug it and put it back in the office. But I'm hoping that because it's already connected, it'll just reconnect. <laughs> this is annoying. We have a printer. Why did that take so long? Anybody else? Does anybody else, does it take this long for you all to set up your printer or is it just me? Am I just... <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna unplug it and move it into the office and see if it stays the same. Update to come. We're back in the car. We're gonna go pick John up from the train and then stop at the grocery store. And then also my car is telling me that one of our tires has low air, so we probably will stop and do that. Um, so update about the printer. So like I said, our office is next to the elevator, which means that it's like a brick wall. So I couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. I got really angry. So I cleaned the apartment. <laughs> But I didn't vlog that. Um, so then I took the printer into the living room closer to the, to the TV, question mark, because we get Wi-Fi from the building. We don't pay, like we don't have our own Wi-Fi router in unit. Um, so that worked. And then I plugged it in in the office and it connected to Wi-Fi. So that's all set. But then it didn't quite fit where the old printer was. So I reorganized my entire desk slash bookshelf area. When we get home, I'll show you that. It pretty much looks the same, but the printer is now on the bookshelf. And it prints beautifully. So we're in the car. Go get that desk. Go get that desk. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's like 56. Um, probably going to have lunch. Then maybe take the baby to the PAR. Um, we'll see. But uh, let's go get John. 
Good morning. It is the next day. It is Easter Sunday. So we are, oh, my hair. We are at my dad's house to just have some food here um, since he hasn't been feeling well. So we're just gonna hang out at the house. Cosmo's running around in the grass. My dad said the Easter bunny came. Wishing everybody a happy Easter to who celebrates. And if not, just happy Sunday. Um, it's beautiful out. It's not too cold. A little overcast. Happy Easter! going to do my skincare for the evening I wanted to share a couple of new products with you guys because um, I've been experimenting with some skincare mostly because it's really expensive and I like couldn't be dropping like $65 to $100 for like I don't know I feel like there's other ways other other better things you could use and then I have my ride or dies so I wanted to share the products that I've been using so I changed um, what are they called face washes i haven't like for years found a face wash that i like like and didn't break me out or like made me dry um so i went to the i went to the drugstore this is CeraVe, but this is the hydrating cream to foam cleanser i like when it gets like really foamy and soapy so this is um what i've been starting with for um my cleanser so i'm gonna wash my face and then i'll let you know what the rest of the products are okay so i have cleansed my skin i've also been double cleansing so i do one cleanse to get all the makeup off and then i do another cleanse to clean and i feel like that's really helped with like avoiding breakouts um because you're actually like cleaning your skin as opposed to, as opposed to just removing the makeup so i let that dry okay this is a ride or die product and i finally purchased the big one i normally have the little baby trial sizes Glow Recipe, this is their Watermelon Glow BHA and PHA Pore Tight Toner, ride or die. When I don't use this, I can tell. So I just do a little bit onto my hand. It's like a liquid and this, it's so good. It's so good. It tightens, it, you know, it's so good. Ride or die, buy the full size. I did buy um, some Glow Recipe Minis when I went on vacation with my sister and they came out with a Guava Vitamin C eye gel because um, I just finished using the Kiehl's product that they sent me. So uh, I've been using that. I like it. Honestly, like, I don't know if I just like don't pay attention to my under eyes, but I don't know if like eye creams actually do anything. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> do eye creams like, do I look tired or do I look non-puffy? You tell me. Um, this is also a staple i purchase it and i always run out this is the guava vitamin c dark spot serums i have had really bad red inflamed skin and this makes the redness go away i did though just get sent some pr from kiehl's thank you so much kiehl's and they sent me their retinol skin renewing daily microdose serum i did have the retinol from drunk elephant um <sighs> I don't know. So they sent this to me. So I think I'm going to give this a try. You're not supposed to use vitamin C and retinol at the same time. So we're going to try this together. This is a new product. Oh, that might be a little too much. Um, you got to go easy with the retinol. I'll let you know how this, how this goes. <laughs> Feels good though. Doesn't really have a smell to it. Tighten up those wrinkles. Then this is also a ride or die. Um, I've actually, they sent this to me by Kiehl's, but then I've repurchased. This is the only hyaluronic acid that I can use um, that doesn't burn my skin. I've actually tried other hyaluronic acids and it's burned my skin before. Not burnt, but it like, 
it's not a nice feeling. So I really like their hyaluronic acid. And then I've been on the search for a new moisturizer because all the moisturizers I've tried are so expensive. And I heard really good things about Pharmacy, and this is the Honey Halo um, Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is so good and it smells like honey. This is their like trial size and it's been lasting me a long time. And I really, really like it. It keeps me really moisturized and it's not as expensive as all the other ones. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna repurchase the full size. I always like for skincare, if you're trying something, don't buy the full size right away because you don't like if you don't like it, you can return it, um, but I don't know. I just, I like to try. I like to test. Um, and that's it. Simple, 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 simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of our Easter weekend. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you all got up to. I'm happy to be back vlogging. If you did enjoy this video, please click that subscribe button because it'll really support my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.